Welcome to ArcZone's video channel. How you guys doing today? My name is Mario Lozano Jr. I'm here today in ArcZone introducing the new MT200 ACDC um, TIG welder by CK Worldwide. Mario, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? I'm what you call a general fabricator, but I'm getting into metal shaping. Uh, I do machining, so and a lot of welding. I mostly work on Datsun, the Datsun 510s, restoring them, doing conversions on them. But I do work for all the race teams in the area. Um, I'm in, Southern in Southern California, in the Torrance Gardena area. You can check Mario out at uh, TSR underscore fab on Instagram. So uh, it seems like most inverters nowadays, the on and off buttons are more conveniently placed in the back. So the knobs are red, so easy to see. Um, Hello Officer Red on there. And it has adjustability for AC frequency. So if you would see there, it goes uh, down from 20 to 250 hertz. And we'll explain the hertz later. It's got AC balance. So as you know, on the left is the cleaning. On the right is for penetration. So we have it, there's, a, uh, there's optimum uh, setting set. On this one, it's set at six. Hertz, there's a blue between 110 and 140. So for those that are new to welding, you would try those first on it. So uh, it's got your pulse gas, your pulse frequency if you want to put it on pulse. And of course, to put it on pulse, you have a, a, a switch here. Boom, you'd be on pulse or you don't want it, you turn it back off. And I don't do stick welding, but if you want to stick, you'd put it on stick. And uh, when you do use a pulse, of course, you have your background amps and also with a setting there for your background amps in percentages of whatever your main uh, panel says as power. So far, everything looks good. Um, knobs are easy to use. Uh, the face is simple. There's not a lot of things that you have to mess with, you know, to get welding done. All right, welding students, you know that you have to grind your aluminum. I mean, uh, clean it to win till it's matte finish. It's like a flat silver. I make all the students I have, they're all grindy. All right, we're gonna use sticker rod. Let's see if we can get. Kinda ran a little hot. Interesting. Started it out and as the piece got hotter, Visually, it didn't look as way I wanted it. Let's see. Bama jamma. Bama jamma. Yeah, the, good, the visibility on this thing is really, really good. It, uh, you can see it real, real clear. But as a bad habit, I still raise it. Such a bad habit. Oh, what? A little, a little body hammer? Yeah. What? Old school. This is super old school. Probably before you were born. <laughs> Let's do a preliminary. Preliminary. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. when the fan actually comes on. Yeah, that wasn't fitted too well. Well, weld is nice. All right, we got a good gap on this one, so. Oh well, it welded it. 
Just when you think you're done, and there's more to well. Amazing. So you notice as, as you weld more, the piece is super, super hot, it's getting harder to control the, the bead appearance. If we want an ideal piece, we would let it cool down and then go back and, and you know, do it all up. So. Machine is working excellent. It's our last one. Okay, on a box, the last weld is the hardest. Does anybody know why? because there's pressure built inside. So we will wait till this thing cools down and we'll fill it up. That's pretty much a whole lot of welding with the machine, so. So Mario, what do you think? Uh, the machine is very nice. I like it a lot. For such a small, compact machine, it's lightweight. You can take it wherever you want. I mean, I liked it, especially on aluminum. It was rather quiet. You know, we're used to seeing really loud aluminum, but. It was really a really mellow arc. So on the um, AC? On the AC, you know, which most machines, um, almost any machine can do steel, you know, or stainless. But the the machines that are have that little better plateau are the ones that do can do well in aluminum. Excellent. And, you know, most people weld in their garages and say, oh, you know, I got a machine, but I only do steel. They can't do aluminum. But this one, it's small compact size, can do aluminum. So... If somebody ups their game and buys a machine and it does well with aluminum, somebody gets a part and they say, oh my God, look at how nice. Where did, what shop did you do? Oh, I did it in my garage. You're going to be the garage master and everybody's going to come visit you. Right on. So the machine definitely has its merits. Excellent. All right, so we're talking about the uh, Master TIG MT200 ACDC TIG machine from CK Worldwide. And again, we're with Super Mario and you can check them out on Instagram at TSR underscore fab. And uh, he's got some fantastic work there. Be sure to subscribe to ArcZone's YouTube channel to stay up to date on tricks of the trade, industry news, and the latest tools and trends. ArcZone delivers a complete line of welding accessories, and we service what we sell. Give us a call if you have a question or want to talk to a live human who can help you weld like a pro. For your convenience, you can shop our entire product line at arc-zone.com. You can also find us on Amazon and eBay. If you prefer, you can order from your local supplier. We will drop ship directly to you. Thanks for watching and good welding.